today was a, uh, an important day in the country. So the reason I'm doing this is because the rest of the Republican field, I think, has been deafeningly silent about an important issue in the country today. Yes, I know it's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yes, I know there's a lot of other issues in education or elsewhere that, I, that need to be addressed that I and others have talked about. But that's not the news of today. Okay, the news of today was that this morning we learned that it is likely that the New York Manhattan Attor District Attorney is likely to indict a former president of the United States who is running for office. Now, I want to be very clear. I am in a presidential primary running against that individual, Donald Trump. But what I'm about to say has nothing to do with Donald Trump and everything to do with the integrity of an election and the integrity of a self-governing democracy. So I don't care whether you root for Trump or whether you don't. If you root for the integrity of our constitutional republic, then you need to be on the side of being really clear we cannot have politically empowered prosecutors eliminating the opposition of a ruling party using arrest power. It is a sad day in America. It is a dark day in America if you have the ruling party in this country using police power to arrest its political opposition. That would be the beginning of the end as we know it. And I'll ask everybody here, wherever you are, on supporting Trump or not, I don't care, a thought experiment. Rewind back to 2004. Okay, if Bush and Cheney used police power in this country to arrest John Kerry for a technical campaign finance violation that normally would never have been charged and if most as a, as a misdemeanor, liberals in this country would have cried bloody murder. And you know what? They would have been right. They would have had a point. And I pledge, I promise to you, I would have been standing there right there with them to say, even if John Kerry is not my man, this is not the way we run elections in this country. This is not the way we run a justice system in our country. Whether or not, whatever your politics are, we put principles first. And so the thing that disappoints me is I said that this morning as soon as I read the news. I didn't ask my political consultants or anything else. Put out a statement the fastest way I knew how that was on Twitter. And I expected my lead Republican fellow candidates in this race, prospective or actual, to follow suit. Because this isn't about, you know, we're running against the guy, that's fine. But this is about the principles. We should want to win not by eliminating the competition, but by actually earning the trust of the voters. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? What I heard instead was silence. And so the announcement I wanted to make tonight, to be crystal clear, is by tomorrow morning, I would like for even the beloved donor class favorites in this race, including Nikki Haley, including Ron DeSantis, to join me in calling on the New York Manhattan District Attorney to abandon this political persecution through prosecution. It's a very clear statement. Either you're on that side of actually avoiding that political persecution as prosecution, or you're not. And if you're not, that's fine. You better explain why. But I think the, the Republican voter base, the Republican primary voters, the conservative movement deserves transparency. It deserves candor. And if you're not gonna stand up, then you need to step out of the way we need to stop being fake in our party. We need to stop being beholden to a donor class that as we speak is being asked for permission to say the things that we're saying. The GOP actually needs to liberate itself from that donor class and start speaking candidly to its base again. Teddy Roosevelt said, speak softly and carry a big stick. Well, right now we have leaders in this party who are willing to speak loudly, but when push comes to shove, they carry a small stick. Teddy Roosevelt is rolling over in his grave, but no longer. I'm going to be very clear. It is a challenge. It is a, it is a demand that I make upon my fellow candidates running in this race, Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley included, to clearly come out and state whether they join me in a call to that Manhattan district attorney to abandon a political prosecution that if they do, that will be good for this country, and if they don't, that will be the beginning, I think, of the end of much of the American experiment as we know it for a generation. We can't afford that. Please join me in that movement in calling for justice. Thank you. Thank you.